Top 20 Lab Assistant Interview Questions and Answers Who is a lab assistant? This is an individual who helps scientists and researchers in conducting various tests and experiments. 1. Why are you interested in this role? When you are asked this question, the interviewer expects you to talk about why you want to work for them. Consider talking about putting your skills and knowledge into place and learning from them. Sample answer. After I learned that you were recruiting, I did not hesitate to apply for this role since I had all it takes to be a lab assistant according to your qualifications. Since I have gained a lot of experience and knowledge in this field, I would like to put them into place to earn a living. Also, as you can see I am still young and energetic. This gives me an advantage to still learn and sharpen my skills from you. This will also help me in the future and might also be a benefit to your company as well. Using my skills to benefit your company and also learning from the facility must be a win-win situation. That's why I am interested in this role. 2. What are the roles of a lab assistant? There are a couple of duties and responsibilities that a lab assistant is expected to perform. Give your interviewer the key duties and responsibilities that you will perform in their facility. Sample answer. As a lab assistant, I have some duties and responsibilities entitled to me. Among the main ones are. 1. Prepare lab equipment for any upcoming research experiments. 2. Clean and maintain lab equipment. 3. Report data and compile information in graphs and documents. 4. Gather data and information from test subjects. 5. Use testing items and subjects to gather data and information. 6. Monitor any ongoing tests and note the differences if witnessed. These are the main duties and responsibilities that I will be performing to your facility if given the chance. 3. What are the qualities that a lab assistant need to be successful? The interviewer wants you to tell them the qualities that one needs to be a successful lab assistant. Give them the main qualities that you think can help you succeed in this role. Sample answer. Despite having all the qualifications, one needs to have several personal qualities that will act as a catalyst to success. A good lab assistant should have a detailed focus since there is a lot of observation of tests and experiments. Having excellent communication is also essential for this role both verbal and written. Being able to do research is also a crucial quality that one needs to have since there is a lot of research done for subjects under test. Lastly, it is important for a lab assistant to have mathematical and measuring skills which will help him when measuring and calculating measurements of chemicals and subjects used in a lab. 4. What major challenges did you face during your last role? How did you manage? Your interviewer wants to know which main difficulties you have faced in your previous role. Talk about the major ones and how you were able to manage them. Sample answer. Of course, there are a number of challenges I have faced in this role. Mostly, these happened when I was in my entry level to the industry. Since tests in the lab need zero contamination, it is very hard to protect him from getting contaminated. Some of them could produce smoke which will contaminate them and make them give different results than those we expected. This has happened to me before in this field. To minimize the rate of contamination, I had to cover the subjects lightly. This is the main challenge that I have come across so far in this industry. 5. Describe your daily routine as a lab assistant. The interviewer wants to know how you would perform your activities daily and the order you would follow when performing them. Give them a very organized schedule on how you would perform them. Sample answer. As a lab assistant, I have to get to the lab very early to make sure that everything is in place before conducting the tests. I have to start by cleaning the lab area and make sure that all apparatus and equipment are clean. I then meet the lab technician to brief me on the tests that we would perform that day. After learning that, I have to go back to the lab and prepare the apparatus that are supposed to be used. I also start to do research about the test to collect data and information. We then proceed to conduct various tests according to the order of urgency or routine. I then prepare reports, document the results and submit them. 6. Describe briefly about your experience. Your interviewer wants to know about your previous experience relevant to this field. Talk about where you have worked, for how long, and the knowledge and experience you acquired from the role. Sample answer. After completing my university education, I was employed on an internship at a hospital as a lab assistant. Since this was a government hospital, I gained a lot of experience through interaction with very experienced professionals in the field. 
Also, the equipment and machines that we interacted with were very complex machines that even some of the big facilities cannot afford. I worked as an intern for one year and then I was employed in a contract for four years. That gives me a score of four working experience as a lab assistant. 7. What kind of strategies and mindset is required for this role? The interviewer wants to know what your attitude towards this role is like. Talk about what you would focus on mainly. Sample answer. As a lab assistant, I should do all it takes to give accurate results without any contamination. I always focus on doing all I can to make sure that the results that are produced are accurate. To attain this, I usually make sure that all apparatus and machines to be used are super clean and no traces of previous tests that might interfere with the results. By doing this, I believe that I have minimized the contamination rate and I am about to get accurate and the expected results. 8. What is the biggest challenge that you foresee in this job? Your interviewer wants you to tell them the biggest challenge that is likely to affect this industry in the future. Sample answer. From experience, I must admit that there is always a disconnect between the laboratory staff and the management. Since lab staff are always busy working with other departments giving out results and findings, there is little or no communication between the lab staff and the management. This is likely to cause problems in future. Since they always stay in the lab, they might feel lonely and it is also a duty of the management to keep a close relationship with all the other departments in the facility. This is the main challenge that I think that might affect this industry in the future. 9. How do you stay motivated in your work? Your interviewer wants you to tell them what makes your daily psych while working. Consider talking about your achievements as your main motivators. Sample answer. Since it is always everyone's wish to give their employers the best services ever, the same case happens in my career. I am always determined in giving accurate results to help solve problems or make a decision on how to treat a patient. When I see my results being used to determine people's health issues, I always feel motivated when I get news that they are doing well. This is all that highly motivates me. This always makes me motivated to help in the lab area to help others. 10. Describe a time when you failed in this role and the lessons you learned. The interviewer wants to know about a time when you made a mistake and the results were not as expected. Talk about the mistake you made and the lesson you learned from the mistake. Sample answer. Most likely, we always learn from our mistakes. Working in a lab can sometimes give you headaches. Giving out clear and accurate results is every lab assistant's wish. But this time we were doing a test and due to reaction of some chemicals, smoke was produced and the subject was contaminated. Of course, this altered the results. It was hard to give accurate results. I learned that it is important to conduct one experiment or examination at a time to avoid reactions affecting other tests being done in the lab. 11. Why do you feel you are most suited for this role? The interviewer wants to know why you think that you are better to be given this role than any other candidate you are attending the interview with. Talk about your unique qualifications and experience in the relevant field. Sample answer. First and foremost, I would be the best candidate for this role since I have gained a lot of experience from my past role. The knowledge and skills I have on how to handle all the lab apparatus and complex machines is very high considering that I was working in a government lab. The acquired skills will enable me to start the work right away without needing any training which would cost your facility in terms of time and cost. I believe that you will consider my experience as an added advantage to secure this role. 12. Share with us your greatest achievement. Your interviewer wants you to tell them what is the greatest goal that you have ever achieved in your career. Talk about any awards, promotions and goals you have achieved in your career. Sample answer. As a lab assistant, I have been doing a lot in this industry that needs recognition. I must say that I have been awarded several times in recognition of the work that I have done in this industry. To talk of the biggest of all, I have been recognized in the facility several times as the staff of the year. This is determined by the top management team which considers every staff's performance and chooses the best performing staff for that title. I must say that this was the biggest achievement I have gained so far in my career. I hope that I will get the chance to achieve more while working for you. 13. Tell us the top six safety rules in the lab. Your interviewer is testing your knowledge on the guidelines and rules that are supposed to be followed in the lab. Talk about the main rules and regulations. Sample answer. There are rules that should be followed in the lab to avoid accidents, inaccurate results and other hazards likely to occur in the lab. 
These are, 1. No location of safety showers, eye wash stations, and fire extinguishers. 2. Know all the emergency exits. 3. Avoid direct skin and eye contact with lab chemicals. 4. Minimize chemical exposure. 5. Avoid horseplay. 6. Assume that all chemicals with unknown toxicity rates are highly toxic. 14. Name top 6 apparatus used in the lab. The interviewer wants you to tell them the apparatus that are used in the laboratory. Clearly name them. Sample answer. There are several apparatus that are used in the lab. Among the many are. 1. Burette. 2. Conical flask. 3. Beaker. 4. Funnel. 5. Microscope. 6. Test tubes. Those would be my top 6 apparatus that I would use in the lab. 15. Tell us the main biological contaminators in the lab. The interviewer is asking you what biological contaminations can occur in the lab. Talk about what can cause the contamination. Sample answer. There are common biological contaminants that can affect your sample results due to contamination. These are bacteria, molds, yeast, viruses, mycoplasma, and cross-contamination by other cell lines as well. Whenever they contaminate a sample or specimen under examination in the lab, there will be no accurate results. 16. How can you avoid lab contaminations in laboratories? Your interviewer wants to know the measures that you can put in place to avoid contamination of samples in the lab. Sample answer. To avoid sample contamination into the lab, there are several measures that I would put in place. To start with, I would automate the process to avoid human error that can lead to contamination of these samples. Secondly, I would make sure that I am in all the personal protective equipment that will protect me from interrupting the process. Thirdly, I would always clean and sterilize equipment before and after the process. Also, I would make sure that everything is well organized and there are zero accidents in the lab that can lead to contamination of samples. 17. Why did you leave your previous role? Here, the interviewer wants to know why you left your previous job. Tell them the reasons. Sample answer. As said earlier, I had been employed on a contract that ended mid this year. As a result, I have to look for another job to keep the good work on. Although the contract was renewable, I chose not to renew it. I also needed to change the working environment and gain other skills and knowledge from other institutions as well. I hope that I will land in your facility. 18. Which mistakes can be made by the lab staff? The interviewer wants to know what it is that you should avoid when working as a lab staff. Sample answer. Being a lab staff, these are common mistakes that should be avoided at all cost. 1. Drawing blood sample from wrong patient. 2. Labeling errors. 3. Using equipment and machines for the purpose that it is not supposed to be used for. 4. Doing shallow research about a subject that is supposed to be examined. These are the top mistakes that should be avoided at all cost. 19. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? In terms of career, tell your interviewer what your long-term goals are like in this career. Sample answer. As a lab assistant, I would like to grow my knowledge and skills which will help me in the future. In five years, I see myself being in the top government laboratories working as a lab assistant. This will be my dream come true. 20. What would be your biggest fears? The interviewer wants to know what it is that you would not like to happen to you in your career. Sample answer. As a lab assistant, I would feel less of an assistant if I gave inaccurate results due to contamination of samples. This would make me feel that I am not being careful while working.